Oh, save green, um, lucky charms and green. Okay, um, so it says here we can save 50% off on green and gold items. And it's up until March 18th. Uh, the real ironic thing is they're not, they're not giving us an option to buy gold for crowns. You know, I gotta congratulate them on their part. They're pretty smooth. But you'll see in part 101, that's not the case. Uh, but anyway, uh, my voice is, you, you might hear as it, it, it's a little, it's a little dry, it's a little deeper. But that's because I'm sick right now and it's, since it's the beginning of spring, I, I think I'm coming down on, with the flu, so. Anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna go through the process of elimination and see which, which is, uh, which is the good stuff that you should buy during the sale and, uh, which is the bad stuff. So, so far I can see that we got pets over here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna, you know, blur them out. You know, pets don't matter anymore. If you, if you want a specific pet on this list, just go hatch with somebody. Save yourself some extra crowns. Then we got mounts, um, no. The only exception I can see here would be the Trent mount, but then again, if you really want a two-person mount, just fish a chariot from the Acropolis. It's much easier that way. Plus, you save a whole lot of crowns. And then we got your Mulinda's a thumb pack. The thumb pack is not. It's not very useful. Okay, it's. I, I, I'm just gonna exit out. Most of the time, you're not even gonna use treasure cards to water your indoor or outdoor plants anyway. So what's the point? For a limited time during the sale, we're bringing back select green mounts and green pets. Um, we got all this stuff, like I said again, you know, we're gonna do, we're gonna blur everything out, okay? Um, and as far as this nice picture goes, sorry, but it has to go, you know, it has to go. You know what we're gonna do? Make things much easier. We're gonna select this, and then we're gonna do that. There you go. No, no propaganda in Hunter's video. Anyway... So what do we have left? We have a big white square, a life jewel pack, and life mastery amulets. So I think you 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 pretty much know what I'm gonna open in in this video or show you in this video. Okay, guys, welcome to my home. I call uh, whatever this is. I mean, everything's kind of messed up, but I like it that way. You know, there's no need for organization unless you really want a neat house for people to visit. And really, I don't have much guests, over, except maybe these house guests. So anyway, we have the Life Jewel Packs. Eight of them, to be exact. And among other things, I've opened uh, quite a couple before, and I've gotten the Morgans Ardor Jade. And that's really what you want out of this pack, the Ardor Jade, because anything else isn't really as sufficient. The reason why it's so useful is because Life doesn't have a 4-pip spammable spell like any of the other schools death doesn't either but they have deer knight so yeah you, you can train deer knight but life wizards you got absolutely nothing the choices are you either have leaf storm yeah leaf storm and pot boiler and the last one that here's the thing though it takes up a triangle slot so if you have any other gear that you need power pips on or Shadow pips. I mean, if you really do need shit, I don't think you will. Or if you need accuracy for that matter, I don't think life wizards need that accuracy. They have high accuracy to begin with. So anyway, not to draw far away from the point, this art door jade is really quite a necessity because it gives a decent amount of damage and it's only four pips. So you can spam this as much as you want. The only drawback is you can only get at least two copies because there's only two triangle sockets for um, the Athame and your deck. The other way to get three copies is to have the third Athame that has two triangle sockets, but you'd be sacrificing quite a bit of damage and power pips. So I don't think that's worth it in my opinion. Boy, it's really hard talking. But anyway, let's get into opening these life jewel packs. Whoops, wrong one. Ooh, 
We got a lot of terrible stuff. Um, that was not a very good pack. Especially, the reason why we know is because we got a shiny mana open. Okay, um, these seem to be getting worse by the second. Another thing you want to look out for is piercing jewels, although I know a lot of people tend to farm for that and have their own jewel plant farms. So you can do that, it's just opening packs is a lot, it's a lot easier, especially when packs are on sale right now. So, oh, there you go, you know. Piercing Jade, I I don't necessarily need Piercing Jades, I have a ton of them, but it's nice to keep a little extra on hand in case the level cap goes higher and higher in gear. Well, it becomes better and better, I mean. Oh, there it is, another one. And I think the, 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 the thing I want most would be the Stun Resist Jewels, because those, those can save you in PvP. Uh, if you don't think it will, it five percent does mean a lot. Some people I've known, they they can stun resist quite a bit, even with just like five percent. I'm not kidding. Five percent might look minuscule, but in if you get it in retrospect perspective, it occurs more often than not. Wow, this is. These accuracy jewels aren't bad, it's just that they're not 12%. So, it leads to me to believe that there aren't any sparkling jewels in this pack yet. Wow, this is just... this is just... wow. I, I, I seriously can't believe the amount of bad... bad jewels you get from these packs. Well, here's the last one. Brandon? What the heck? Get out of here. I don't want Brandon. I want Morgan. Life Spear. Oh my god, dude. That's, that's something for another video. <laughs> Life Spear. Are you serious? Even when I'm sick, I can, I can still feel bad, like, deep down inside when you get one of these. This is probably one of the worst jewels. It, it's in line with the mana op. So, from my experience, the Morgan Opal isn't really that bad to get. I mean, it was like, I opened it off camera and actually got one of these Ardor, J Ardor Jades in my first pack. And quite honestly, it's not a bad drop rate, it's just I got really, really unlucky. Like, you, as you can see here, I got Life Brandon. Life Brandon, nobody's gonna use him, okay? I'm... Uh, uh, well, maybe I, I might use them. It just depends. But anyway, guys, if you like the video or if you're new to the channel, please make sure to hit the like button or subscribe. But I'll see you in the next one. And until then, take care and peace.